I'm Laura GB and this is day 11 of 12 days of paginated reports. And in this report, we're going to look at adding indicators and data bars to a table. So here we are in our report. Simple little table of showing total quantities and total values for all the different gifts given through the 12 days of Christmas. We want to add in some indicators for the quantity columns, red, amber, green, and a little data bar to show the different values. So let's move across to Report Builder. And here in Report Builder, we've got our table. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a column. So I click on the bar above quantity, right click, insert column to the right. And we're then going to click on to, so into data is where we're going to put our indicator. So let's go to insert and indicator and then click into that bottom box. And then it asks you, well, what kind of um, symbol or shape would you like? I'm going to go for shapes and I'm going to go for that red, amber, green, different shapes and then click OK. Then I'm going to right click on there and we're going to go for indicator properties. And I'm going to go to value and states. So the first thing is, is which value are we going for? So drop that arrow down and I'm going to go for the quantity, some quantity. S States measure unit. So are we going for percentages or numeric? So I'm going to go for numeric. And there we are. We get our three indicators. And what values would we like them to be? And what colours would we like them to be? So we're going to go for the lowest value. So I can just press delete on there. And the end value there, I'm going to go to 20. And then 20 for the next one up. And that's going to be 20 to 30. Gets me amber. And 30 up to whatever value. So we can take out the 100 to whatever value it goes to. And then let's click OK. So if we click Run, there we are. We get our indicators. Now, they're offline, they're over on the side, and that's how it sometimes appears for me in Report Builder. But when you publish it, they will look fine. So let's go back in to Design. And I now, so let's make that column a little narrower, because it can be, because it's only an indicator. And then we're going to add in a data bar. So I want to add that column to the right of value. So let's do a right click on that top bar, insert column to the right. And what we're going to do into here is we're going to insert a data bar. And I am then going to click in there. It asks you what kind of data bar. So I'm going to go for that plain blue one, horizontal. That'd be great. And then I'm going to double click on it to bring up the data box. OK. And then I'm going to click plus on the values there. And I'm going to say this one is going to be based off value. So if we now go and look at a quick run. There we are. We've got bars based off the value. So swan is the longest bar and partridge is the shortest bar. If we want to highlight those in colour as well, wherever there is a colour specified in a report, we can replace the colour, fixed colour, with an expression. So I'm going to click on, so I've clicked on inside that box and then I've clicked on the bar. And then over on the right hand side here, you'll see that there is a colour and it says automatic. I could go and pick a completely different colour. So I could go and pick a bright colour off here 
or I can pick expression. And this build brings up the expression builder. So instead of automatic, remove that and I'm going to come down to common functions and program flow. And that brings me up the if. And what we can do is we can then go if my values, so my fields from summary, value is greater than 20,000, then we're going to make the colour green. Now you could also specify hex colours in here as well. But I'm just going to go for the simple names, red and green. Remember to put them in quotes and then click OK. And let's do a quick save that to the Power BI service. And switch across. Quick refresh. And there we are. We've got our indicators next to our quantity column. And next to our value, we've got our colored bars showing the different sizes. In today's video, we looked at adding indicators and data bars. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now. <laughs>